Hi guys, somebody asked me a very important question. They said, what do you think of the xenophobic attacks and the violence that's currently happening? And I said to them, I've got one very big problem with the attacks. And I think my biggest problem is that there, there is no end goal to it. There is no end goal to it. And even if the people who are doing the attacks think that there's an end goal, they, they're not seeing the fact that there is no end goal to this fight. So the whole Nigerians versus South Africans and this one needs to go and etc, etc, right? So let's say that the big fight was about jobs. To say Nigerians are taking our jobs, Nigerians are taking our economy, um, Nigerians are dragging the youth, they're damaging the future of the country. Let's say that was the big goal. And the end goal of it was to say we want to get rid of Nigerians so that we can protect the future of the country, get back jobs, get back the economy. Let's say that was, right? The way things are being done now, that goal will not be achieved. Even if the Nigerians decide to leave, that goal will not be achieved. The country will be in a worse state than it is a better state. And that's the big problem here, that the, the fight is not the right fight. Even the logic of why people want to get involved in this fight does not make sense. Because let me explain. Investment, growth, employment happens by, 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 through actual investment, through actual economic activity. Now, if you're fighting one another and you're showing the rest of the world that you're in a really place, one, tourism will go down. That's the first problem. So whether they go or whether they stay, tourism will still go down, meaning there'll be less jobs now. Meaning that even if they do stay, there'll be less jobs for everybody, including those that have stayed in the first place. So both parties lose. Two, international investors will not want to do business with South Africa for these reasons. They will be afraid that their money will be misused and when anger happens or when people are unhappy, it will resort to violence. And that way they will not want to invest. Hence, less jobs, less economic activities and the same activities we've had will continue to happen. So the, the big question here is these xenophobic attacks, even if... Tomorrow morning, every Zimbabwean, every Nigerian had to leave South Africa. It still would not be an issue solved. Because the big issue here is the fact that we're ruining, one, our reputation in terms of investment. Two, we're ruining the fact that we actually good ground for actual business to happen. Because from now on, be it the, the billionaire, be it Google, be it Facebook, no company is going to want to associate themselves with South Africa because their attitude will be if South Africans are upset, irregardless of who you are, they will damage you and your property. Meaning everybody, every single one loses. So my, my, my clear question is we need to intensify or ask these questions within each and every South African. Why? And we need to, to be serious about these questions. You know, the, the big problem is that everybody gets into it. They want to hype themselves up. If this had to happen, it will, it will fix things. It will, but if you really look at it, you find that the reasoning and the thinking is very, very wrong. Ask yourself why. Why are these attacks happening? What is the end result? And rather try find out how can we fix the end result. There are better ways for this situation to be fixed. There are better, and I'm in no way saying that drugs should continue, illegal immigrants should be let, let, let on the loose to do whatever they want. I'm no way saying that. What I am saying is that the way that the, 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 the problem is being solved currently, the violence, that is in no way solving the solution. And that's not only the worst part. The worst part is that it's making the situation in South Africa worse than it currently is. So in actual fact, it's a self-destroying act. And that's the issue that I've got, that we cannot be self-destroying.